the United Kingdom plans to use ballistic missile defense on six Type 45 destroyer, I's future counter-hypersonic capability. As a defensive capability, ballistic missile defense is one element of a broader response to the threat posed by the proliferation of ballistic missiles. Ballistic missile defense capabilities serve to complicate an adversary's planning and provide damage mitigation. Effective missile defense could also provide valuable decision space in times of crisis. The United Kingdom Royal Navy will upgrade its Type 45 destroyers to provide a ballistic missile defense capability while detailing plans for the ship replacements to feature counter-hypersonic equipment. The United Kingdom would not have the ability to defend itself against the growing threat of ballistic missiles. While Dr. Kaushal advised that it was likely to be five years before the specific threat of the Chinese DF-21D carrier killer ballistic missile materializes, media reports suggested that China has now added carrier-shaped missile targets to a target range.120 yet the UK's Type 45 destroyers currently have the ability only to track and not defend against ballistic missiles, this ballistic missile defense capability was provided to Carrier Strike Group 21 through the United States Arleigh Burke destroyer. As such, Mr. Molinelli told us that adding ballistic missile defense capability to the Type 45s will soon be non-discretionary. A ballistic missile defense capability will be delivered through the Sea Viper Evolution Project. Upgrades to the Sea Viper missile system aboard Daring Class Type 45 destroyers will protect the Royal Navy and wider defense community from ballistic missile threats by the late 2020s, under a newly confirmed United Kingdom plan. Upgrades to the ship's Sea Viper anti-air guided weapons system are intended to confer Type 45 with the ability to protect maritime units from anti-ship ballistic missile threats. Sea Viper is the name given to the principal anti-air missile system variant specific to the Royal Navy. The government confirmed the plans in a written response to a United Kingdom Parliament Defence Committee report on the state of the Royal Navy. Funding for Sea Viper Evolution Project Capability 1, which would see the upgrade of missiles to the ASTA Block 1 standard, was mentioned in the March 2021 Integrated Review. Block 1 is claimed to be capable of intercepting ballistic missiles of up to 600 km range, while retaining the ability to intercept aircraft. Developments to improve its performance up to intercepting missiles of 1,000 km are being studied. The Sea Viper Evolution is a highly sophisticated system that includes long-range and missile-directing radars, a combat control center, and vertical launcher missile silos. The system is designed to protect both land and sea forces from aircraft attacks and defend the naval fleet against supersonic anti-ship missiles. The Sea Viper air defense system is composed of Sampson and S1850M long-range radars, a combat management system, the Silver Missile Launching System, and ASTA-15 and ASTA-30 missiles. Sea Viper uses this information to assess and command target priorities and calculate the optimum launch time for its ASTA missiles. It can track more than 1,000 targets at ranges of up to 400 kilometers. Sea Viper is designed to track, target, and destroy various high-performance air threats, including saturation attacks of very low altitude, supersonic cruise missiles, fighter aircraft, and UAVs. It can launch eight missiles in under 10 seconds with its silver vertical launching system and simultaneously guide up to 16 missiles. There had been speculation in the past that the additional space in the Type 45s may have been used to install the American MK-41 vertical launch system, instead of C-Scepter cells. 
that would have permitted the destroyers to carry Tomahawk land attack missiles as well as SM-3 or SM-6 missiles for defense against ballistic missiles and hypersonic weapons. For the Royal Navy, there remains the option to add in the future the Aster 30 Block 1 NT which will also offer an anti-ballistic missile capability, while the MK-41 will meanwhile be installed in the new Type 26 frigates. Nevertheless, the upgrades of Sea Viper Evolution will provide the Royal Navy Type 45 destroyer with an additional defensive layer. As well as tackling conventional high-speed aerial threats, the missile is also expected to engage small, fast inshore attack craft, hovering helicopters, and low-speed targets. The first Type 45 destroyer is expected to have been overhauled with the new Sea Viper Evolution missiles by summer 2026. What is more, in a high-threat environment, an attack against a carrier is likely to involve barrages of different weapons, requiring a number of weapons and tactics to counter them. Increasingly, these threats may include higher-end hypersonic and stealthy cruise missiles. The Sea Viper Evolution, in particular, is claimed to offer an anti-cruise missile capability. As such, defense of the carrier rests, to a significant degree, on the Royal Navy Type 45 destroyer, two of which will routinely accompany each carrier strike group, bolstered by other NATO vessels. However, outside of the carrier strike groups, adding Sea Viper Evolution is certain to be a valuable additional defense for any grouping that a Type 45 destroyer is part of, as well as just for these ships operating independently, in general. This is especially true when operating in more contested waters, as evidenced by recent encounters with Russian warships and aircraft in the eastern Mediterranean, and in the Black Sea. 